Okay, I wanted to do a quick lesson for this course on string crossing because I find that playing arpeggios is a little bit different from playing scales. When we're playing scales, we're playing, you know, a few notes on each string and it gives us time to, to get used to that and set up for going to the next string. So, you know, it's completely different from playing. So I've got this cool little exercise where I play every arpeggio of the C major key, the key of C major, I play up one, down the other, up one, down the other, up one, and down the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write the chords out, and then we'll go through the, uh, the exercise really slowly. So we've got C uh, major 7 arpeggio, followed by... D minor, seven, followed by E minor, followed by F major seven. These aren't bars, by the way. These are just sort of, I'm just breaking up for you. Followed by G seven, followed by A minor. I need a longer arm. And then lastly, B minor seven, flat five. If you can't see that, it's in the workbooks anyway. So C minor, D, uh, C major 7, D minor 7, E minor 7, F major 7, G7, A minor 7, B minor 7, flat 5. So there's seven chords there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Just making sure that they were all there in case there was one missing out. So, and all we do, the exercise starts on the A string, okay? And with the first finger on C, and all we do is play up the C major 7, arpeggio, which is, okay, C, E, G, B. Now at the beginning of this course, I mentioned that I didn't want you to do huge stretches, right, like this. I want you to, and this is a great little practice um, between these two notes, is just doing that, you know. It's not... It. So there's no gap in between the two notes, even though you're shifting, it's like a, it's probably a millionth of a second or something like that. So we're going to go up the C major arpeggio, and then down the D minor arpeggio from the seventh. Yeah, so up the C minor, C major, down the D minor. So here's the D minor, 7 arpeggio, yeah? So we're going down the D minor, up the E minor, down the F major 7 from the 7. So let's just take it to that F major 7, okay? So... is a G dominant 7, then down the A minor 7 from the 7 of the, the, uh, the arpeggio, then up the B minor 7 flat 5, and then down the C major arpeggio from the 7. So really slowly, 2, 3, 4. If you're raking, you want to be raking. If you're playing alternate, you want to be playing alternate. You want to be muting correctly. You want to make sure everything's aligned as it should be. Remember, you know, all of these lessons, you know, you want to kind of sort of like whiz back over them all, all over them all and make sure you're doing everything correctly, okay? And the reason why this exercise is so good is because, one, you're learning the harmony as well for the, C, the key of C major, which is great. Uh, but also, it's that string crossing thing. It gets you used to um, crossing three strings. So, boo do ba -de -da -de -da -da. you're having to go across the strings. It's really, it's a really tough thing to do. So, even slower, okay? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Down 
down the D minor from the 7, up the E minor, down the F major 7 from the 7, up the G dominant 7, down the A minor from the 7, B half diminished, and then down the C major from the 7th of the chord. And then we can go back down exactly the same way as we came up. And then cycle it round. Yeah? And then you just build that speed up so it becomes... more practice um, yeah so it just gets you used to moving across the strings in a different way and it's just a really really great exercise to get under your fingers remember when you do it revisit what you're working on alternate muting uh, raking all of that stuff and also get the metronome on and keep a note of where you are um, time wise you know you don't want to be fluffing it like I was just then you want to be nailing it, and then when you've got there, you know, then cranking up that tempo a little bit. And make sure you're not overstretching as well. Make sure you're doing them nice shifts instead. Mm -hmm. 